you tell your child something okay for example just a simple thing you tell your child that okay i will come tomorrow to pick up you in your school okay your child says yes that is the example and your child says promise probably you say yes promise then your child says pinky promise probably you say yes pinky promise then your child says if you do not come then i will not talk to you or do not break the pinky promise what is your answer what will you tell this child think for 30 seconds then write your answer yes you you can involve your child also to write your answers yes behind you the child is there you can involve your child you can ask what what is the good answer you sh- you want my child okay so, and what is happening you will not give surety very bad parent ha huh? why you committed then that you will come there and the child will be hanging instead of there sitting huh? for sure i will come will give surety to the child okay okay pinky promise okay we'll try different we will try hey still try hey, come on there is no try when you you have to pick up the child from the school we'll try my best okay not good not good maybe oh my god rakesh don't marry yeah okay uh, we'll definitely go i will keep up we'll pick up yes good answers sure yes i will surely come dear anything tsunami aa jaye toofan aa jaye anything comet uh, anything happens i will definitely come should not promise if not sure okay actually you should not commit also before promise there is a statement to a child okay it's not about breaking the promise it's about breaking your trust my dear if you tell your child that you will pick up without promise also i am not talking about promise if you save statement tomorrow i will come and pick up the child is waiting for you and you do not turn up what a horrible parent right so it's not about promise it's not about pinky promise it's about the trust this is how you build trust with the child okay every time you give a statement to the child and you do it the child will become teenager she will listen to you the child will become adult she will listen to you there are many parents says in the teenager sir my daughter does not listen to me sir my son does not listen to me what should i do a the time is gone you are a hopeless parent you were bad parent you did not pay attention you did, you did not win her trust she is not going to listen now okay so the good answer may be why you need a pinky promise right i gave you the statement i will come even if you do not take pinky promise i will definitely come you know my style right so why the child is asking promise because the child doesn't have trust right that if you give a statement you will follow on that so you have to give up again reinforce that once you give a statement i will definitely come you take pinky promise you do not take pinky promise doesn't matter what if if your car gets uh, something okay right at the time hai na you have a flat tire engine stops i will come irrespective of the car i will come what if if it is raining yeah i will come if i have said i will come i will come so you reach reassure the child that if i give you one statement i will follow it and you have to follow it you cannot say maybe okay you cannot say no i am not promising but a hey, get out there is no but in the parenting right so if i am telling you i will come yes pinky promise because you like this pinky promise i will pinky promise yes and you don't need if the child is saying if you break my pinky promise i will not talk to you it means what is happening you know the child is learning dhamki ko kya bolte english mein what do you call dhamki in english hey write down threatening ha you don't need to threaten yes yes done 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 ha yes you know good english everyone hey stop ha so you don't need to threaten me to control me okay right i am your father i am your mother if you say that you want me to pick you up or if i promise i will pick you up i will do it so you don't need to threaten me right so understood so why the child asks promise because the child did not trust and why the child is giving threat after promise it means the child thinks you will break the promise very bad okay so i had to reassure the child beta you don't need this pinky promise beta you don't need to threaten me even if you just say one word and if i say one word yes i don't need to complete the word i will pick you up if i say yes it means i will pick you up yes come what may yeah tsunami comet anything okay if the parent is really caught in the situation i don't know give me some example what can be that situation 
right? Give me some example, okay? But the child is waiting. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, have a backup ambulance with you. Okay. <laughs> right. Heavy traffic. Hey, start early. Don't wait for the traffic. Use Google Maps. Hey, there is no emergency situation more than the child. Suddenly, unplanned meeting, you should leave your job, Rupali. Yeah. Fire your manager, senior boss. How can you plan your meeting such like that? So, I, I, it's not that I have not done that. Yeah. I have done that. My child knows very well that if my child says that, don't go to a particular meeting if my boss, yes. Testimony, yeah, confirmation of a stamp. Huh? So if the boss says that, no, you have to come. I say, no, I'm not coming. Says that you will lose this money. I say, no problem, go do. Uh, if the boss says that, I'm also uh, sitting without the child and managing this. I say, yeah, you are a bad parent. I'm a good parent. If wow. my child says that, uh, don't go to meeting. Approved. Yes, approved. Okay, if my, I have done many times. Okay, so. <clears throat> If the child says, don't go to meeting, I want you now. Okay, no problem. I used to do that. Okay, now I don't need to do that because I'm my own manager now. Okay, but I tell my uh, uh, employees that if your child says something, do it. Okay, so, and don't give me excuse that you had, uh, your child had a fear or something. If you want to watch a movie, tell me that you wanted to watch a movie <laughs> and don't give excuse of your child, right? Okay, yes. Hello. Hello. So she is reading your this thing, huh? Comments. Comments. And that's why she's in gallery. <clears throat> approved. Okay. Thank you. I survived because of your approval of you. Okay. Bye. Be very sincere. How many of you do this? You tell your child not to be on the mobile. And once you come back, you are on your mobile. Whatever you do, either you watch YouTube or you uh, uh, are on official work. You say that I have a work, official work on your mobile. After you come back, not the whole day. Okay. So I said after you come back from the office. It's evening time. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's wrong, you know, once you say to a child that don't use the mobile and after you reach home, if you are going to office, I work from home. So, mm -hmm. so if you, once you reach home and you still are on mobile, whatever is the reason, either it is office work or it is something, something. Okay. You cannot explain to the child, no, this is office work. You have to explain to the office, to your boss. Hey, mm -hmm. once I go from office, my work is done. You cannot WhatsApp me. Yeah. Yeah. I, I tell my employees, all 60 employees, I tell them to do that. Good. Very good. Very good, Sajita. Very good. My teacher also taught me this lesson. Okay. What is her name? Please the woman. Oh, nice. She is good. I will meet her then. I will all best as well. Practice yeah. what you preach. Oh, nice. Do I do that? Yeah, no, 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 which component? No, direct, no, which component? I don't huh? do which component. I don't do you tell me to not watch mobile, and he also watches mobile. Very bad. Mm. Okay, you you are very bad. <laughs> this is not approved. Not, not approved. approved. Okay. This component, I will change, I will, I will improve on this part. Okay, yeah, okay. So, I'm going to write here that I also do this. Okay, so I always thought that I give you a lot of attention once you say no mobile. Okay, but okay. during my work hour also not allowed. Okay, fine. Okay, I need to modify this at least expectation I have to manage or I have to modify myself. What are the other things I will need to do? Yeah. Huh. Very political. Huh. <laughs> Needs improvement? Okay, fine. So Puja has said, sir, you need improvement. So I have to improve. Yes, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, nice. Everyone right. Need improvement. <laughs> okay. So that's how you trap. Okay. Nice. Okay. That devil is bad. Welcome, dear. Yeah. Nice. 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 Everyone right. Need improvement. Need improvement. Very bad. Very bad. <laughs> 
Okay. And now, hey, this question, Subhashi has asked a question. Always positive parenting, or will you get angry? No, she will answer. Positive parenting. Huh? Or do I get angry? No, only only little bit. But only one percent. Okay. But Ali is still be. He is angry one percent. So it should be zero point zero 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 zero. Okay. So, but when you need my help, or you are throwing temper tantrums. Important. You are like difficult types. So, mm -hmm. am I angry on you ever that time? No. Mm -hmm. But I get angry only on safety things, right? Yes. So, is that wrong or bad? I mean, wrong or right? Sorry. Right. right. Ah, thank it's God. Right. right. So, I get angry only on safety things, okay? Like crossing the road and all. And <clears throat> yes, I did not but say anything. Not approved. Hey, which component not approved? You can't be angry on me or any other child also. Other child? Other child also? Well, not you, uh -huh. the other parents on their child. Okay. You understood? Okay. So, uh, you cannot One be angry. One improvement also. Yes. Nice. Okay. So, people are writing agreed, taken. Okay. They are taking the oath to the pledge. I will not get angry on my own child. Okay. So nice. You actually don't need to raise your hand in this reaction button, but you need to take a place in your own heart. Take and take it. Everyone is saying, wow. I have a question. Okay. Ah, ask the question. Yes. Please ask the question in the chat. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Five minutes extra. Extra, extra. Okay. Give practical tips for positive parenting. Don't scold a child unless he do something stupid. Stupid is allowed. No. Uh, most stupid is stupid. Wrong. wrong thing is not allowed. Yes. Ah. Stupid is allowed. Yeah, that's a good question. Yes, nice. Hey, tell her. Huh, answer this. How much you listen to your parents, dear? Are you obedient child? That is a question. Obedient means you listen to your parents. Yes, I listen to them. Yeah, you listen yeah. to parents. Unless, unless they talk, uh, till they talk nicely to me. Otherwise, I don't do the work. Oh. I sleep. So I tell you. So unless she is convinced that, or she agrees, yes, this is good. So she will do the work. Yes. Okay, so to get her do anything, get her do anything, she must be convinced, right? Yeah. So I think this is a generation, new generation. All the children, they don't like order. Like our parents, they used to say, do this. We used to do this, yes. They used to say, don't do that. We used to like, okay. But nowadays, this is not a definition of obedience. Nowadays, the child will like, why I should not do this? Yes. Why I should do this? Perfect. If you are able to explain the child why you should do it, why you should not do it, without lying, without lying, huh? you cannot give some hypothetical scenarios. Okay. If you can convince your child why you should do, why you should not do, without lying, without lying. then the child, will, then follow. child will follow. Then that is called obedient child. Okay. Yes. Yes, they listen to your explanation. Yes, if you give them. Uh, rational explanation because there is a people children are educated <laughs> probably more than us they have a higher IQ yes nice nice most of children I don't know what is that yeah cannot understand <clears throat> nice yes they want convincing nowadays okay they want to know why they should do why they should not do okay the definition of obedience child has changed Okay, yeah, nice. Okay, nice. Huh, this ah, is a good this question. Neera. Good question, Neera. Can you read this question, Eva? Does do you English? Hey Neera, improve your English. Grammatical mistake, huh? Do do your job. Do you provide whatever things she asks for, even if not required? Do I do that? Huh? Huh? So, okay? Do I give you anything and everything you ask? Even if you don't need it. 
No, sometimes not. Sometimes yes. So that's a good parenting. Yeah. So I can convince... because he knows which with things I need and with things I don't need. But do I get you everything you need? Everything yes. And do I say no to certain things which you don't need? Yes. Very good. So that's the correct parenting, right? So I cannot say no directly. Okay, if she asks me something and she doesn't require or that is not good for her, I cannot say directly no. I have to convince her why no. I will give an example. iPad. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, Dilatiya, I have You saw the smile hide in the face. Yes. So I have to convince why not iPad. Okay. Yeah, I cannot say no because if I say no, you are a monster parent. Okay. Uh, at least she doesn't say that, but I know the meaning. My father says that you don't need iPad because you don't have any work to do on it. You would get addicted to it more. Correct. Which happened once upon a time when she <laughs> was two years age. She used when to... I was two or three years. Three years old. Uh-huh. Right? So what do you used to do with iPad? <laughs> Every time. Yeah. While eating, doing all the work. All means all, yes, all, 24 hours, okay, yes, don't do that. Except thing. sleeping. Yes. Mm. Very good, Dr. Ashwini, you are a good mother. Yes. Only reasoning works night, not this. Oh, Kanchan, very good. That point Kanchan has said, Sometimes letting them do some mistakes, okay? Make them think that they are independent and they learn through experimentation. I do that, okay? I allow to do some mistakes. And one time my teacher taught me, if you do any mistake, learn from it. And your father also taught you? One time, I don't know. Hey, every time I teach you that you do learn from your mistakes. Okay, if you fall, I don't help you get up, right? I teach you how to get up, okay? One time at swimming also. Mm. <laughs> okay, nice. In the ocean, not in the swimming pool, the ocean. Yes, you should do that. Good. Good? Yes. Good. Yes. 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 If you can convince your child, right, you don't need certain thing. And if you believe that that thing is harmful and you don't give, that is a good parenting. That is the only definition. If you give everything and anything the child asks, that is a pampering. Yeah. And if any, all those children, those who are watching, I will give you one trick or I will tell you something. So if you are able to convince or if you convince your parents that you should get anything and everything, even if it is harmful for you. Okay. So that is called being a Ziddi. English me kya bolte Ziddi ko? Stubborn. Stubborn. That is a stubborn child. Okay. Not good. And your parents are not good convince, convincer. <laughs> you are a good stubborner and they are not good convincer. Okay. So they need to learn the skills like you have. Okay, actually. Obstinate. Okay, wow. Good, good English, Preeti and Monica. Hey, Ankita. Matlab, direct teach. You are a teacher. Come on. You cannot say this statement, huh? What? Parenting skills, over pampered child, wrong grooming. Ha. Over pampered child is also a spoiled child. Correct, brat. <clears throat> right. Has anyone ever called you brat? Who? Me? Huh? Yes. Huh? Someone has called you? Who was that? You, of course. I called you brat. Yes, many times. Okay. Okay, okay. nice. Okay. I think I should not ask so many questions here in front of the audience in the recorded line. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. What was the example I called you, Brad? Can you tell me? I really want to. Uh-huh. In the hotel room at the lobby, right? Where? You were doing something. No, no, no. At the reception. What were you doing? 
Yeah, there was a bar. I was just sitting there and taking some photos. He called me Brad. And oh. he called me. He said that uh, people will think you are Brad. Why would I care if anyone calls me Brad? That is also a thing. We should not uh, worry, worry about. No, no, no. Be concerned. Be concerned. No, just. So exactly. Don't care about others. Yeah. Okay. So thus in okay, fine. So I should explain this to you actually, not to the others. Okay, because I don't care what others think about me. Okay. But I care what you think about me. So I called you Brad. Mm -hmm. It was a fun way. Yes. Okay. So you were sitting in a bar mm -hmm. and taking a photo. So I was like. Okay, people will think that you are a brat. We take this photo and put it somewhere, right? So people will think that such a young age sitting in a bar. So that's such a brat. So that was a fun way to say, right? I hope you also know that it was a fun way. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank God. <laughs> I'm saved, relieved. Okay. Now. Okay. End of the session. End of the session. Yes. And two minutes of deep breathing and. Uh, exit. We do that. You also do that. Okay. Uh, because yeah. you were right. Huh. So, when you breathe in, you breathe, your stomach should come out. Breathe in with your nose, breathe out with your mouth. When you breathe in, your stomach should come out. And when you breathe out, your stomach should go in. Can you give a demo, please? Hmm? Can yeah. you give a demo? Breathe in, breathe out. And when you breathe out, it has to be slowly. Hey, do it. Just sitting idle, huh? Hopeless. You are doing it like an old lady, huh? You are 24 years, forgotten your age. Yes, I'm talking to you. Hey, sitting like this. Seriously? Huh? <laughs> whenever you get angry whenever you have anxiety whenever you read the book and you have the question and you get so much hyper sir I want to know the answer you do this and wait for the next session to happen <laughs> okay if you read a story in the book and the story doesn't, you understand the meaning because your IQ is less or if the story is half because you get so much interested, what is the next story? Okay. If you read some technique in the book and you want to know how to apply this technique, wait for the next day to come. My calling time is Monday to Friday, <laughs> 1 to 5 p.m. after WhatsApp. Then you talk to me. And if you are very, very urgency, go to your nearest hospital. Don't worry. <laughs> Or for other things, you can talk to me 1 to 5 p.m. And most of the emergencies you can prevent by doing this breathing exercise. Okay. So thank you, everyone. Have a great time. Be in touch. Those who wish to talk to me can talk to me tomorrow. 1 to 5. I mean, Monday to Friday. Exam for the previous batch. For the previous batch, you want to write? Okay. For the previous batch, um, the exam, 10 to date, 25th to Sorry, 15 to 25th August, it will change. Bye bye. Bye bye. Nice. What is your name? Do you want to write your name? Yes. Okay. First name. Directly write the name. Uh huh. Okay. Not all the people. Yeah, what did you do? Are they? W Enter. Okay. Yeah. Fifteen to twenty fifth August is exam date. The date will change. You will get the confirmatory date by next week. Mm -hmm. If you have a doubt which batch you are, whether August or Feb, 
you can WhatsApp me too. Okay. My name is pronounced Eva. Okay. Before 15, what is that? What is the meaning of my name? <laughs> okay. What is the meaning of the name? This name has origin from Japanese culture. The meaning is deity of all living beings. <laughs> I hope the spelling of date is correct. Is the spelling correct? Yeah. Chitra, Feb. Okay. You are into the DZ? Yes, both of us are into the DZ. So, I forgot. I to play. Yeah, you are not practiced since long time. But I can play my DZ. Most likely next session we will play. Both of us probably together. Uh, uh, you can try it. You can try the basics. One, two, one. Okay. Yeah, that you can do. Okay, we'll try for DZ next time, both of us together. See you. See you on Wednesday for marriage. Thursday for not your marriage, for <laughs> marriage counseling session. Not your marriage counseling session for means I know you don't want to repair the relation with your husband or the wives. So the marriage counseling class okay and then thursday is child assessment tools and sunday is <laughs> sunday is uh, psychotherapy okay dizzy i will show you what is dizzy okay you read the book read the book thank you everyone it was nice interacting with you i really enjoyed thank you for making it interactive and lively because all of you